What would happen if the moon collides with the Earth? Ever since time began, the moon had always been a loyal companion to our Earth. Although it maintains a considerable distance, it still provides us with nightlight and lunar glee. But wait a minute! Think about this for a moment. What if the moon suddenly began getting closer and closer to Earth till it becomes too close? What if it gets so close till it gets to collision point with our planet? Would we survive the crash? Or would the moon get torn up by Earth's gravity? And if it does, what would a crumbled moon look like in the sky? Or is this even possible at all? Sit back and watch these amazing facts that trigger your curiosities. Hey guys, welcome to Information Forge, where we bring you the juiciest contents. It's competition time. Grab a chance at winning a new iPhone by Information Forge. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, like our videos, comment on our videos, and share our videos on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, or other social media platforms. Increase your chances of winning by watching as many videos on our channel as you can. Winners will be announced at the end of the month. Good luck and enjoy watching the videos. When the moon comes crashing down, the moon is 2,150 miles wide and it orbits the Earth at a distance of 384,000 kilometers. Since its formation, the moon has actually been moving away from the Earth. It moves about 4 centimeters further every year, so we really do not have to worry about anything, or do we? Stay with us, as we'll find out later in this video! The science community has come to terms with the fact that the Moon was created after a Mars-sized planet collided with the Earth about 5 billion years ago. It is said that a chunk of the Earth broke off and began to hover about the bigger chunk. With gravity and all the other forces coming into play, the chunk was beaten into a spheroid. Voila! The Moon is born! Well, the funny thing about this is that throughout the long existence of the Earth, there have been several planets and asteroid collisions, but we still have just one moon. Now, how's that even possible? Well, for what it's worth, these other moons might have either crashed into one another or been ejected from their orbit. To the big question of today, will our current moon crash into our planet? Well, sadly, maybe. Joyfully, you might not get to see it, as some experts believe that the eventuality of this occurrence might not come into fruition for about another 65 billion years. And by that time, just like the dinosaurs, we'd be all gone. The Moon orbits the Earth due to its gravity. However, it is also large enough that it gives off a gravitational push to the Earth. This causes sea tides and joy to afternoon surfers. Scientists say that the Earth rotation would one day slow down till it moves at the same speed as the Moon. This would cause the Moon to move further away from the Earth till it gets closer to the Sun. All of these would take about 6 billion years. At this point, the heat of the Sun would begin to affect the Moon, turning it into a giant ball of magma. The Moon would be on its way back to its course, colliding into the Earth and kaboom! Goodbye, Earth. Once the crash occurs, this would fill the Earth with burning magma and about 10 to the power of 20 gigajoules, or 10 to the power of 30 megatons TNT of energy would be released upon impact. Now, this huge energy would wipe out all life on Earth, dry up the Atlantic Ocean, and burn down everything we currently see. Yikes! The impact could be so powerful that it could break the Earth into two large chunks. But after a few million years, gravity would play Messiah and patch the Earth up once again. A fresh start with new cavemen and all, but without a moon. Another way that the Moon can end up colliding with the Earth is if a similarly large and dense planet hits the Moon and changes its course in the opposite direction. This could knock out the Moon like a boxer's KO punch, sending it straight down to the Earth, but slowly. However, this could take between hundreds to thousands of years before the collision occurs. But before this happens, chaos would have ravaged the Earth. This would have wiped a large chunk of Earth's population 
before the collision eventually occurs. In fact, if the Moon is closer to the Earth by half of its current distance, our coastlines would move inward and we'd lose a lot of coastal cities like New York and other islands. This would also create destructive supersonic winds. If fragments of the Moon begin to fall from the sky, we would receive meteor showers that can wipe out cities. Lives would be lost and cities destroyed. But is there any silver lining in all of these? You may want to embrace your pillow and get ready for what is to come. And while you do that, you may want to click on the subscribe button and put on the notification alarm. You do not want to miss any episode of the Facts Shower that we will be bringing to your screen. A silver lining. The Moon is the only satellite of the Earth. It brightens up our night and gives life to the night. It is the first and only place that humans have ever stepped on. Mars? Well, we're coming soon! The tide, caused by the Moon, promotes life in our ocean and makes life livable. So, what if the Moon decides to speed up and race towards the Earth? This plan would be disrupted by the Roach Limit. At this point, the Moon will shatter and won't make it to the Earth's surface. The Roach Limit is the point where the gravity holding a satellite together is weaker than the tidal forces trying to pull it apart. In other words, the Moon can only get as close as 18,470 kilometers away from the Earth before it blows off. All of our flags and footprints on the Moon will shatter along with it, forming a remarkable ring of debris around the Earth's equation. This ring would be about 23,000 miles in diameter, making Earth the second planet in the Milky Way galaxy to wear a pretty ring around it. Second to Saturn, of course. But sadly, our ring wouldn't last long at all, as it would create a rain of moon asteroids falling down upon the Earth. It would be as though hundreds of thousands of asteroids are falling right down on us. But even as the moon gets closer, it would increase the tidal levels. This will lead to tides of about 7,600 centimeters, which is about the height of 47 human beings. Wow! It would cause great floods, destroying cities, with over 10 tsunamis occurring on a daily basis. It would have effect on global warming as our days would become shorter. We wouldn't have to worry about climate change anymore, unless rain of asteroid balls hits the Earth, wiping out our entire existence, then there would be no one to bother about anything at all. Now, on a happy note, the Moon moves farther away from the Earth every year. It moves about 4 centimeters further every year, so it is very unlikely for us to enjoy having a ring around us. So what has always fascinated you about the Moon? Is it gazing at the Moon and the stars at night? Or the idea that it powers vampires? Now that you've watched this videos, what are the things you would miss if the Moon was gone? Do leave us a comment, but whatever it is, do make sure that liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and turning on your post notification button is top of the list. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.